There is a new addition to the Wildlife World Zoo and Aquarium. So let's head out and see the new hippo. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hello, That's not the hippo. That's Danielle. And welcome to Wildlife <laughs> World Zoo. Hi, Danielle. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. Okay, let's, before we go see the hippo, I want to do some uh, seriousness with you about the hippo because this is the first time mm -hmm. a pygmy hippo has actually been born in captivity. So this is the first time in Arizona that we have a pygmy hippo born, which is huge for conservation efforts because there's only a couple thousand of these guys left worldwide. Wow. Okay, so what's the difference between a regular hippo mm -hmm. and a pygmy hippo? So a river hippo, which is what you know most people think of when they think of a hippopotamus, those guys are much, much larger, and they are more aquatic than the pygmy hippos. The pygmy hippos are going to be a little bit more terrestrial. They're going to be significantly smaller, and they're going to be really elusive. So most of what we've actually learned about them has been learned from animals that have been under human care. And so with these guys being endangered, um, this is a really huge step in the right direction for conservation efforts for pygmy hippos. Okay, so how, how old is the, the hippo right now? just a few weeks old. So he was born um, very, very recently and he is the cutest little thing you're ever gonna see. <laughs> little Bubbles here. He is so small, so <laughs> cute, and I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, yes, let's go see Little Bubbles. Now, where's mom? Where, where's mom at right now? So right now you can see mom in this pond right behind us. And I'm gonna crouch down here because she is here with her keeper. This is our head keeper here of Safari. And she is giving her lots of treats, lots of love because we have behind me here our little baby Bubbles. And he is, like I said, just a few weeks old. And he is sleeping away right now. But oh he's just the God. sweetest little thing. They're in a temperature controlled barn. Um, they have access to outside um, when the temperature allows during a nice warm day. It's a really good time to see them. They have a watering hole and indoors they have two ponds in that temperature controlled environment. Wow. And, and so I, I hear you already have a name for uh, the hippo. We weren't going to have a naming contest or did you already have it? I didn't get into it. So we did decide on Bubbles here, and Bubbles is just, like I said, the sweetest little thing. We have his mom, Nessie, here, and then we have his dad, Tootsie Roll, and so we've had Nessie with us for a few years now, and she came in at about eight months old, and so as she reached sexual maturity, we found a male as well, and we made sure that the genetics were just right so that we have good genetic diversity within the, uh, the population under human care. Okay, so, Danielle, let me ask you a couple of things. One, first of all, Tootsie Roll, mm -hmm. love the name. Uh, that's, uh, that's a incredible name for Dad. Yes. Uh, number two, where do we usually find this? Because, like you said, this is very amazing for Arizona. We, we won't find these out in, like, you know, right now in Cantal Park, will we? No, so these guys are native to Africa and they are in um, very densely forested areas. And so, um, like I was saying a minute ago, it's really, really important um, to have these guys to be able to research and to be able to conserve and protect in the wild because they're very, very elusive and they spend a lot of their time hiding, right? And so they'll be either found solitary in pairs or very small family groups. Um, whereas, you know, like the larger um, relative, the river hippo, those guys are going to be a very large family groups. And so these guys spend a lot of time alone. And like I said earlier, there is just a couple thousand individual individuals left worldwide. They are endangered. So this is a really great, um, really great way to conserve and protect this nice. species. Now, when will bubbles be on display or, or is uh, the baby already been out and about? So he gets to come out when it's nice and warm. So if you come on a nice, sunny, warm day, which, you know, it is a little chilly right now, but once that sunshine comes out, Bubbles and his mom have access to their beautiful enclosure. We have a watering hole with a waterfall, um, and, the, you know, the family can hang out there. And so right now we are in this temperature-controlled barn because we do have a little bit of a chilly morning here. Um, but Bubbles is on display already. And so you can catch him and as he gets older, he'll be spending more and more time outside um, with his mom as well. Wow. Danielle, this is so awesome. They, I, I'm so happy we got to see. Where, where, by the way, where is Tootsie Roll? Is Tootsie Roll just kind of like somewhere else? 
Yeah, so he is on the other side right now. He is okay. spending his time outside enjoying the sun. And these guys actually have a natural form of sunscreen also. So um, yeah. really great way to protect their skin in this sun, sunny environment. Um, they produce what's called blood sweat. And it's like a pink secretion yeah. that comes out. Um, and, it, you know, some people look and they're like, oh, my gosh, it's blood. They're okay. <laughs> it's just blood sweat. Uh, and uh, that keeps them um, protected from the sun, which we do have a lot of yeah. here in Arizona. So it's a really great environment for them. Got it. Danielle, thank you very much uh, for showing off. We appreciate you. Yeah, and you know, you can go to the Wildlife World Zoo website to see all their hours and times, or you can go to aztv.com. We have information on there. So there you go. And a typical dad just in the other room while mom and the baby are just hanging out. So there you go.